In your kit, you'll find a thank you note and postcard for you to stick on your wall. Instructions that teach you how to cross stitch, a colour pattern and a symbol pattern on the back. Embroidery floss, also known as embroidery thread. A wooden embroidery hoop. 14 count Ada cloth. Sewing snips and sewing needles. Before putting the cloth into the hoop, we are going to mark the centre of the fabric by folding it in half and folding it in half again, making sure to crease the centre point with your fingers. Loosen the screw at the top of the hoop and separate the two rings. Place the inner ring under the cloth, trying to place the centre point we just creased in the middle. Place the outer ring on top and press until it locks over the inner ring. Tighten the screw at the top of the hoop and pull on the fabric on the sides until the fabric inside the hoop is tight like a drum. Each square on the pattern corresponds to a square on the fabric. Find the centre point of the pattern by using the arrows on the side. I like to use heat erasable pens to draw the pattern on the fabric, but cross stitch is most commonly done by counting stitches. Drawing the pattern on the fabric first means you can stitch easily and don't have to worry about counting stitches incorrectly. Embroidery floss is made up of six strands, however you only need two to cross stitch. To separate the strands, pull on one thread and keep pulling until you're left with one single thread. Snip the end of the thread to make a sharp point and thread it through the needle. I like to put the end of the thread in my mouth to make threading the needle easier. Match the two ends of the thread and knot together. This creates the two strands we need to stitch by doubling the one strand into two. You can also thread your needle with two strands at once. Use both hands to separate two strands from the embroidery floss. I prefer using two strands instead of one, as you don't have to re-thread your needle as much. Thread the needle and then knot at one end. Now we're ready to start stitching. Use the colour pattern and symbol pattern as a guide to see which colour thread to use and where. We're going to start stitching the pattern with the red flower. As you can see on the pattern, it says to use thread 666. Stitch the first row of the pattern, making sure to go from left to right. Once you've finished stitching the row, it's time to stitch back, this time going from right to left. Once you've finished one row, it's time to stitch the next until the shape is filled, then continue on with the rest of the pattern. Loop knots are quite common with stitching. Simply pull on each side of the knot and the thread should return to normal. Fractional stitches are used to make smaller details. Start by stitching a quarter stitch into the middle of the square. Then stitch the other side with the other colour thread. Finish the stitch by stitching a half stitch with the required colour. Finish the back of your hoop with a hoop butt or with a loose running stitch. 